YouTube, Topaz Jays here, and I got a pretty good show lined up for you today, man. First, we're going to jump into the news. Then, we're going to jump into this review for this new Logic album that just recently leaked. Then, we're going to jump into an article from DownLowPaz.com. Before then, this to a brief instrumental from underground producer, Maniac. Today's album, Compton, has went certified gold, which means 500,000 units were sold. And you know, even though I wasn't huge on that album, man, I definitely do respect success and big ups to that man. But anyway, on today's album review, and it's to that logic, the incredible true story, man, in which this album is one of the most complete albums you may ever come across because not only does it have terrific fucking songs on there, but the filler tracks pretty damn solid as well, and then the whole story that's going along with it was very damn interesting and different. Now this album is pretty much a movie in which the music is the soundtrack to it and such man, pretty much Earth has come to an end and now humanity has seeked out a new planet that they're all trying to go to called Paradise. Which is damn near the same thing from Interstellar which you can tell that he was influenced by this because he did name drop Interstellar in some bars and shit too. But you know that's just me nitpicking and such man but you know I called it when I reviewed a bunch of the previous tracks and such man saying that the floor of this album was going to be really high. Pretty much saying that the worst songs on this were going to be pretty damn solid and which that's exactly what we got man. See my the favorite songs off this was that Young Jesus, which I already made a review for. That shit still goes so fucking hard. That City of Stars is pretty fucking phenomenal of a track, man. It kind of has that whole flashing lights from Kanye West vibe to it, man. But once he starts rapping, he starts talking about some core issues like how his label shafted him the last time around, which wouldn't shock me if they did that shit again. Then he starts talking about his race on how he did not mention his race the entire time for that whole first album, but yet that kind of became a big issue. Now he's addressing it. And my thing about that, man, is a lot of biracial kids and such, man, you really just don't fucking get it. You think because you're biracial, white supremacy ain't gonna hit you? It is. Because here's how white supremacy works. If you're not 100% white, whatever the fuck that is, then you motherfucking black. You get treated like all the black people and shit do. Now, a lot of biracial people, they kind of get away with it because they come out lighter. But when the news come out, you get hit like we get hit. So y'all need to come on and fight this white supremacy and shit too because you're going to feel the breath of it. And then he touched on how a lot of these 90s cats who love Tupac and shit want to hate on Drake and shit even though they talking about the same shit. And you know, that's absolutely true shit that I've been telling people for so long, man. Tupac did the same shit that a lot of these artists out here is doing too, man. It's just people are so far in that fantasy that 90s rap was so much fucking better to fucking see the truth. I really fucks with that Paradise track even though when they switched up the beat and everything, it wasn't on the same level as the beginning. And that's a core thing that I tell people all the time. If you're going to do that evolution of the track shit, all of it has to be fucking dope on the same level. Now the title track's quite honestly the best track off of this, man. I'm happy they saved the best for last. But yet, don't sleep on any of the fucking tracks, man, because you can ride through this from beginning to damn end, man. And quite honestly, this is going to compete for best album of the year. I give this joint a solid 9 out of 10. But anyway, on to today's article from DownloadPads.com, and today's article is about how people just don't want to fucking listen, you did? And it fucking kills me, because I can tell somebody precisely what they need to do, what'll happen if you don't do it, and then they just gonna have to find it out for themselves and shit, dude, because they just don't wanna motherfucking listen. Like, take one of my homies, for example. See, he left his chick to get with another chick, but yet it happened too close to each other and shit, man. So I told him, here's what you need to do, my brother. Everything that your past chick got at your crib, pack that shit up in a box, put it to the side so she can come and get that shit so you don't get caught up in no dumb shit. Now, did he do that? Of course not. What happened? His new chick came over to the crib and noticed that there was some female shit just laying around and asked what the fuck is this and then all of a sudden an issue. All he had to do was motherfucking listen and none of that shit would have fucking happened. But yet I see this all the time with rappers and shit. I try to tell rappers the specifics of what you need to do to get better and how long this shit is going to do and what exactly you need to do to build a fan base. But yet niggas don't listen. I hope you enjoyed the show. You can follow me at Twitter up there, and you can go to downloadpads.com, that's down there, to read today's article.